Paisea says if the national government rejects the mining lease, things will go into chaos in the district and will affect the entire province. The, if the national government rejects barracks uh, uh, license, I can I can tell the people I can tell the people I can tell the people of, uh, I can tell even witness to the government and the public that this mine is going to go into chaos. And when it starts down, when it starts down, it won't come to life again. It will take another 20 or 30 years because there are a lot of opportunities around to damage and destroy our mine. It's not, the, not actually the landowners will damage the mine, but the opportunities will damage our mine. Therefore, therefore, I think the renewal of the license is, is at the uh, uh, best for the people of the people and even for the government as well. Paisea is urging the different landowner factions to work together for the betterment of the people and the province and for the mine. He says the mine has done a lot over the last 30 years in delivering government services despite the many different challenges landowners have faced over the past 30 years. Uh, let us put uh, differences aside and let's put the interest of the people first. We have had missed the opportunities for the last 30 years, but we can come in a round table, we can try and uh, improve the benefit sharing, rather than say no to uh, renewal of the mine license. So, doesn't, I would like to call upon the national government on behalf of the ACME, uh, on, on behalf of the uh, ACME groups and the business houses with the 60 to 70,000 population of uh, Wagera Payela, district as all to renew the license as matter of agency because when the mine is when the mine is under destruction it will be very uneasy to restart the mine it will take time it will take years to restart the mine because i also encourage the national government do not take program mine as other mines in the country the coastal mines minings like misima lear <coughs> Okteri, they are okay. They are okay, but you know, when we're talking about the mining in the islands, is quite different. Maybe due to you know uh, characteristic differences, or maybe I do not know, but it's quite different. Therefore, do not take it as you know. Do not match the mine with the other mines in the in the country. Pogara mine should be taken up one of its own mine in the islands. He wants the national government to work with the landowners as the mine has benefited the people and Enga province. In the recent uh, outburst, uh, saying, uh, some people are saying that uh, barrack, you know, the barracks uh, renewal obligation has, uh, has to be uh, rejected by, by the government. So I see that there is no ground on rejecting barracks uh, obligation. Because in the remote areas, we feel the presence of the developers. And in Pogara, we feel the presence of uh, Pogara John Pencha. Because we hardly see, see, hardly see government presence in that area, so we see barrack in that in the area in terms of uh, government services like uh, electricity, road, uh, power, health, and education. So, because of the company, we see all these services. If there was no company, if there was no developer, then there won't be live at all. Meanwhile, landowners are still awaiting for government's response since the admission of the resolution by 23 landowner groups. Godwin Eki, National MTV News.